Okay, in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to add these grids down the bottom here. Okay, so let's go and do that. Let's jump into Dreamweaver. Okay, and they're going to go inside these columns here. So what we're going to do is inside this column, we're going to put an IMG like we did before, and then the hit tab. Okay, and then we're going to click images, go images folder. Now we don't have them in the folder yet, so we're going to click browse. We're going to go to my desktop, find the downloaded exercise files under images. And here we're going to go thumbnail one. Nice. Okay, and make sure whenever you put an image in, put the alt text. Remember, it's for the visually impaired, it's for people using screen readers, and also for Google. And uh, I can't even remember what this image is. <laughs> Love image. Not very exciting. Um, and okay, so we want to do it. Let's check it in the browser. Check the right one. There he is there. I've made mine a little bit bigger. Why? Because uh, just so that they can resize when they get down to, can you see when they get down to mobile, it actually gets quite big. So when you're styling these ones, make sure you use, because we can use the same image through all three sizes and just make it responsive. So just make sure your image is big enough for however big it's going to be, okay? So next is, what we might do is just duplicate that one. So I'm gonna delete all these guys, have my cursor here. You can copy and paste it, that works, but a cool shortcut is, will you curse it anywhere in here? Go Command D, okay? Or if you're on a PC, go Control D, and just go Control D, 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 D. Okay, we've got all our little guys. Um, and what we need to do is switch these out. Now, I can't just go and change the um, you know, the text here. Why? Because remember we went here, we went browse, it actually copied it into my folder. I need to go and move them. So let's go check this out. So on my desktop, there is, this is the website, okay? And there's the images, and there's the guy that got copied. This is my folder of exercise files. I'm gonna grab all of these guys. Come on in here, guys. Oh, oh, can't see you. Oh, I hate this about a Mac. They're in there somewhere. Okay, you need to go in the images folder. Get in there. Great. Okay, so there's all my images. So now I should be able to go into here. Sometimes you need a, uh, so in here it's gonna be thumbnail. Actually, this one's thumbnail. Sometimes it just doesn't, because I've just copied it in the background there, I might have to, so it's not appearing. So I'm gonna hit save, and there is a refresh, so it's F5 on both a Mac and a PC. Get in there, get in there. Now one thing you need to do is, I'm just copying these all, just jamming them in there, you should change the alt text for all of these. It's really important. Important enough that I'm not gonna do it now because I am just doing a tutorial. It's not my actual site. So, got all you guys. Let's check them in the browser. So they're all, that's not it, they're all in. By default, they all stack on top of each other. So what we need to do is get them to kind of collapse next to each other so they stack up. So we're gonna do that. Um, let's go into Dream Movement and do that now. Okay, so to do it, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use, we've got, we created a class, a class earlier called col, and we're just gonna say, if we float all these cols to the left, okay, and they will stack into each other. We did floats earlier on, and we floated the navigation member to the right, he floats over this way. If you float to the left, they will kind of like keep stacking up next to each other, because by default, they stack underneath each other in line. Okay, so let's go into our styles.css, somewhere at the top here. Doesn't really matter where it goes, I like to put these kind of like big, things at the top. Now remember this is a class so I forgot to put the dot. Curly braces. Let's go float and we're gonna go left. Thank you very much. Let's have a look. Okay, so they float. There's not enough room for them all to get in there but most they get mostly in there. So what we're gonna do now is create another class that's going to make them, we're gonna divide this into uh, three parts. So let's go do that. Now this bit we're gonna do now is uh, working with something called the grid. Okay, that's the kind of overall term of dealing with this kind of like positioning where um, we get them to stack one, you know, one way in the desktop and another way in tablet and then again on mobile. So we're dealing with this thing called a grid. So um, what we're going to do to make this thing work is we're going to create a class and we're going to call this one call LG, large. Um, it's really typical to call desktop large, um, tablet medium, and you've got small, and then you can have extra small as well. So we're gonna use this guy, and what we're gonna say, it's gonna be quite easy, we're gonna say you have a width of, width of, now, uh, you know, we could do 33.3%, okay, and save. 
Nothing's gonna work. Okay, so we've created it, but we haven't applied it. So we've created this thing. Now go over here, and we're gonna apply it to this class. So we've got a, one class called Col. We're gonna apply the second class. Now I wanna you just put it in there. You just sneak them next to each other. Okay, that's how you apply more than one class. You don't have to write out class again. You can, but you just put them in between these uh, quotation marks. Okay, with the space in between. Great. Now I don't want to do. I, I want to do it for all of them. So there's a cool little trick that Dreamweaver does. Right, is if I click here and hold down the Option key on a on a Mac or Alt key on a PC and click and drag. Can you see I get a cursor, multiple cursors? How cool is that? Hey, I love it. Col hyphen LG. Okay, and it's applied them to all. Great. Now we're going to check it out. It's kind of working, okay? So the columns are all the right width, okay? But these images aren't being responsive, okay? So by default, these images are being their exact size. The columns are the right widths, but the images kind of squirt out over the edges. So let's go and fix the images so that they're 100%. So to make our images responsive, we're gonna to go to our styles.css. We're gonna create a class where, as long as it's in the global heading, um, where am I gonna put it? I'll put it in with the columns that I've made. And we're going to do another compound selector. So we're going to say images that are inside my col hyphen large are going to do this. Okay, and we're going to say these guys are going to have a width of 100%. 100%. Great. And what we need just to make things responsive is we need to add a height to it as well. And just put it auto. Okay, that'll save you some problems later on. It'll just automatically pick the height. And the other thing that makes it useful is display block. Why? Just because. Okay, we need to do responsive images, make the width 100% make sense. Put the height and display though in there, and it'll make them, yeah, it'll make it work. So let's have a look in the browser. Okay, get in there. Nice. So the widths are right. Um, and yeah, so the widths are 33.3%. And they all stack next to each other. What I'd like to do, and the images are responding. Okay, so what we need to do now, because you can see, as see, 33% is great because it squitches down when it gets down to tablet. And um, next thing I want to do is actually, and uh, my um, mock-up has padding in between these. So let's add a little bit of padding to it. So how I've done the padding in this case, um, I have instead of using this 33, there's not enough room for padding, so we need to put this down a little bit. So I've taken like two. Um, you know, two percent off um, the overall size, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use it for here, and I'm going to do um, some padding, and we're going to put padding all the way around, and we're going to do one percent. Okay, we'll use that percent around here, and it just means that yeah, let's have a little look. So there's one percent around it. Great. So one percent either side. Okay, left, right, up, and down around these columns, and the rest. Okay, if you leave, uh, I guess just to make my point here, is if you leave it at 33, okay, there's not enough room. Okay, so 33 plus the 1% in between kind of pushes this guy off. So what we want to do is make sure there's enough room here. So when you're doing yours, yours might be, say it's four, you're going to be using 25%. Okay, if you've got four across here, um, you're going to play with different percentage to whatever works for you. Um, and yeah, you're going to have to minus it, whatever you use for padding, minus it off the widths here. And yeah, do a bit of playing back and forth. Great, so we've made a responsive grid. Okay, it looks good there. It looks, when we get down to tablet though, what I'd like it to do is I want it to switch from, this is our, is this one here? This is our working version. Okay, so when it gets down to tablet, I want to switch into these two columns here. Our, at the moment, ours doesn't, it stays like this. So what we're going to do is we're going to create another class. So we'll do it, but instead of putting it in the head here, we're going to create it so it only gets triggered when we're in tablet view. Okay, so anything in this media query only gets activated at the time and um, we're at a max, you know, within this width here. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new class called col md for medium. Okay, and this one here is going to be 25%. And when I say 25%, what I meant is 50%. Okay, but we're going to have this slight problem and for some reason I just typed 50 by itself. <laughs> so let's type in the full thing. Okay, so it's going to be a width of 50%. But because we've got that padding applying, let's have a little look. Okay. It's not working. Why is it not working? It's because we created it here. We created this col mid, but we haven't applied it to anything. I'm going to pretend like I did that on purpose. Okay. Uh, but I just totally forgot. Okay. In source code here, we've got this thing called col large, but we also need one in here called col medium. So remember our trick? Click in there, hold down the option or alt key, space, and let's type in col md. 
Okay, so we've created it, we've made it, let's go check it, and it doesn't work. Remember, 50%, but because we've got padding in there, we need to be a little smaller. And this is where you can go in and play around with, um, I know it's 48, because I've already done it. Great, so it fits in there. Watch this, so at desktop, it's three across. Okay, when it gets down to here, okay, it's two across. Okay, now the last one we need to do is when we get down to mobile, is I'd like it to be 100% across. So let's go do that now. So we want to do two things. Our mock-up has um, the mobile view, they're all 100% across. So we're going to say down here, we're going to create a class called col small. Okay, and this one's going to be a width of, not a window, we're going to be a width of 100%. Great. <laughs> all right, syntax is getting a bit wayward. Okay, let's go apply it, use our cool trick. Okay, and we're gonna be coal small. Great, um, and let's check in the browser, and it's gonna be a little bit broken. Okay, because, well it's not broken, but I wanna get rid of this padding in between. Okay, because I want it to be, my mock-up just has them all butting up next to each other. So what we're gonna do is, in here, let's go to our styles, and up the top here we said column have a padding, so coal have a padding of 1%. Okay, what we're gonna do down here is we're gonna say, that same class, we're going to say you, Cole, have, oh, have a padding of zero. A padding of zero. Pixels, a percent, doesn't matter. Zero, zero. Great. They're all butting up next to each other. Awesome. Look at us. You can start to see, um, you know, we're making responsive stuff. And like when you look at somebody else's CSS and you kind of look at this for the first time, you're like, wow, okay, that's pretty complicated. You go into here, okay, that one's not too bad, especially with the tabs and all the returns. Okay, there's a lot going on in here. But you can start to see if you start chipping away at this thing one little class at a time, it's actually, uh, you know, I think quite simple. Um, so great, uh, what else do we need to do? The last thing I think is just the background color. Okay, uh, so I don't know, it's not a big deal I guess. So we're gonna do it to the body. Okay, so the background color. Let's go background color. And I'm just gonna pick a light gray because that's what was in my mockup. DDD, save. Okay, so background color, you can see it's just kind of like a slight gray in there. Cool, all right. Uh, well done, us and me and you. Okay, we made a website. We made, the big thing is this navigation here. Okay, it responds, and once we learn that kind of responsive stuff, okay, with our media queries, it actually became quite easy to do these. So there's our tablet view, down to desktop, a lovely nav sandwich, and we've got a little images going. Okay, bravo. Um, little things that um, I would do to touch this up, you can see on um, mobile here, it's, the padding's probably a little bit big for this one. So all you do is you go, you find the class that does your hero box. Okay, he's at the top here somewhere, there's something called hero. You make another class and you just change the padding and override it and make it smaller. And you go and finesse all of these things, maybe the font as well. Okay, it's a bit big because it breaks onto two lines. So get your H1, make another H1 down here in mobile view and override the font size. Okay, lots of those little tweaks is kind of where, I guess you as a graphic designer really shines, okay? All those little finessing in terms of the spacing after and the space between lines and all the font sizes and things. Cool. All right, now I'm waffling. Uh, let's go on to the next video.